KKL 9's Chris Holmstrom is live now in South LA where the suspect shot his own grandmother before the store standoff. Chris. Yeah, Suzanne, this neighborhood has been blocked off since 1.30. That's when authorities were called out here to shots fired. Now, let me get out of the way to give you a better idea. Now, authorities say the shots were fired in this brown home you see right behind me. That's where they say the suspect shot his girlfriend, also his grandmother. You could see the suspect's family right next door. That's because their home is now a crime scene. Investigators have been going in and out all day long. But take a look at this video. This shows the suspect in police custody leaving the train. Trader Joe's, where he held many people hostage. Now, I spoke with the grandma's next door neighbor, one of her friends. She describes her as a loving woman, a churchgoer. She's actually been living in this neighborhood for more than 50 years. And she says that the woman was shot multiple times, including the chest and also in the leg. Well, she was taken to the hospital where she went into surgery, but she is now in stable condition. That's according to the next door neighbor. As for the suspect's girlfriend, she was also shot and is also in stable condition. But a, a big question a lot of people have out here is, you know, what caused this shooting to start? Well, here's what neighbors say may have caused the shooting. My, my, my neighbor's daughter told me that, um, that uh, she went back in the grand, her mother went back inside to tell her grandson, you know, he had too many TVs on, something that, in that sort. And right after that, she heard gunshots. And back out here live nearly eight hours after the shooting. This is still an active investigation. This home is still a crime scene. As I mentioned, investigators have been in and out of this home trying to figure out what exactly caused this shooting and why it happened. Reporting live from South L.A., I'm Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News.